On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be looking at DC Universe Wave 4, the Despero Wave. Today we're going to be looking at the Batman Beyond figure. And I've heard so many bad things about this figure, about the figure falling apart and limbs breaking off and, and the plastic being cheap. I'm really hoping, crossing my fingers, I'm really hoping that this figure isn't going to give me that same problem. Or at least this, uh, my figure will be. Um, before we actually get the figure out, we're going to have to look at the packaging first. Uh, the Batman Beyond shows up really nice against the orange backing here. And in the backing, you can see that it's got Ares, Wonder Woman. We've got the Batman Beyond down at the bottom corner. We've got Despero. And we've got uh, what looks to be Wonder Woman and, oh, and Captain Adam up at the top. As well, this has still, I kept the label on it. It still has the KB Toys uh, price of $12.99. And as I mentioned with the other review I did, I believe it was the Captain Adam, I didn't uh, I didn't unfortunately pay $12.99, I paid a little bit more because I got this from a seller on eBay. I don't remember what the price was, but um, on the back, the other figures in this wave are Captain Adam, Batman Beyond, we've got Ares, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg. Five figures for this wave, although if you factor in all the variants as well, uh, we've got the Artemis for the Wonder Woman, and we've got the modern Captain Atom. We've got the Terry McGinnis unmasked, and then we've got uh, our Ares. So I mean, there's a little, there's more than five, but really all you need is five to build Despero here, or Despero. Uh, biography: 30 years after Bruce Wayne's self-imposed retirement, Gotham City has been overrun by crime and corruption. The former Batman remains in seclusion until high school student Terry McGinnis, fleeing members of a street gang, winds up at his door. Together they fight off the gang members, seeing a need for a new hero to watch over his city. Bruce Wayne assumes responsibility for training Terry to become the new Batman. Statistics, real name Terry McGinnis, occupation student, based of operations Gotham City in the year 2040, special abilities trained in gymnastics and martial arts, high-tech bat suit, augments strength and agility, fires batarangs, allows flight, electronic surve surveillance via fingertip microphone, and a camouflage mode that simulates invisibility. Uh, you'll notice the one thing that they've omitted in the statistics is the first appearance. Uh, Batman Beyond really doesn't have a first appearance in the comics uh, because his first appearance was in the Batman Beyond cartoon. Very similar to Harlequin, although Harlequin has migrated over to comics, uh, both characters were, uh, their origins stem from cartoon uh, appearances. So there is the read-up on Batman Beyond. Uh, what we'll do, still crossing our fingers, what we're going to do is we're going to get the package opened on Batman Beyond, and we'll get a better look at the figure. Stay tuned, guys. All right, the new Batman, Terry McGinnis, is out of his packaging. Uh, so far, so good. Nothing is broken on the figure. And hopefully this carries over into, through the entire review. Ooh, let's see how things go. Uh, checklist time. If you have your Despero figure here with you, um, Terry McGinnis comes with the arm. The arm of Despero. Or Despero. Uh, we'll peg it into place. And done and done. Now there looks to be a little bit of white on this arm of Despero. I don't know if it's... Yeah, I think you guys can see it there. What I might ultimately do is maybe I'll swap it out for the other arm depending on how things go. But as you can see, Despero, aside from two parts, is almost done. So we'll put him aside, and we'll look at Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. Um, soon, like I said, the worst part, the worst part about this figure, is first of all, if you if you skip back to the package end of this review, you'll you'll remember that the arms were completely straight out, and that's really not. That's not really what you want a figure to be if you've already heard bad stories about the arms breaking off. Because I ever so slightly tried to bend the arms back into place so that I could actually do the review of him. And uh, I think I can agree with some of the reviewers that have done reviews of the Batman Beyond so far. I can see what they wanted to do with the figure. 
I can see what they were going for by giving him this sheen, this nice glossy sheen. Uh, the only downside, however, to the figure is being that this sheen is applied over the plastic, there is areas where you can see that it's already starting to chip off. Um, for example, I'll give you guys an example here in the on the back here. I don't even know if you're going to see it, but on the back you can see that on the shoulder there's a bit of paint coming off. There's a bit of paint coming off on the back, and I don't know. Test of time wise, I don't know if this is going to this is going to get progressively worse. We don't know. Um, as you can see as well, his arm isn't completely down. His arm isn't completely down on here. I really want to put it down, but I'm, <laughs> I'm so worried that this is going to break right off. Um, it, it, it feels... I mean, if I compare it over to the other figures, I mean, the plastic is the same. But I'm wondering if maybe this gloss, this additional gloss that's been put over the figure, has weakened the plastic. Because it does feel does feel a little flimsier and it it also feels too like being that they've coated the figure that they've made every joint a little harder to move um, like even in the legs you can kind of feel like it's coated with something so I'm hoping again I'm hoping it's not going to give me any problems um, the fact that it is just basically a black and within the red of the symbol as well there's really not a lot of color to the figure, but the figure does look really nice. It does look really nice, and I'm very surprised that they actually went with making a Batman Beyond figure. Um, I think you can see the head as well. The head is pretty decent. Again, you don't really have much in the way of a mouth or a face. Uh, they've got the mouth part of the mask, which to this day I still don't know how that works, but he's got the white eyes there. He's got his utility belt. Which he really didn't he used a little in the show, but I know, like especially with his batarangs, most of them came out from his sleeve. And speaking of batarangs, he has his updated version of the batarang. Now they've made this silver. It would have been nice if they had done it red, red and black, like they did in the cartoon. Uh, the batarang stays pretty good in his hand. I mean, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Oh, oh there we go. I moved, I moved the shoulder. I don't know if you could hear the panic. Uh, but yeah, I was, de I was definitely worried. Um, but you can have him holding his battering if you want. They don't really have it. Like in the cartoon, he's kind of holding it by the tip. I mean, you can't really get that in this figure. You kind of have him holding it in the whole thing. Now for the part that I'm worried about. Now for the articulation. The articulation really is the same as every other DC Universe figure. You have the articulated head. Uh, you have the ball jointed shoulders, and you have the rotation in the bicep. You can bend at the elbow, rotate the wrist. You can bend at the torso. You can rotate the waist. Now you see the waist doesn't want to move on me, and I think that's enough to for me to just say whoa. We'll just leave that for the time being. You can bend the leg back and forth, in and out. You can rotate the thigh, bend at the knee, and you can also bend at the foot. So, like I said, it's the same articulation as every other DC Universe figure. Uh, the mold is the exact same. Um, this is where things get a little gray. The how, how do I rate a figure like this? Well, the sculpt is nice. I like the sculpt. And I'm, I'm impressed by the fact that they, they gave us a figure that hasn't been in the comics. He might be in the comics now. I, he might even have his own title, but um, he wasn't in the comics at the time that this figure was created. Um, the sculpt is nice. I like the paint. I like the fact that they went with a gloss. And it definitely, if, if it was just a matte, I certainly would have said, well, I don't like the fact that they've just given it a matte black. So they've given it a shiny black, which is nice. And everything about the figure looks decent. I'm just really worried about the fact that this additional paint's been applied over the, the joints and everything. If you can overlook that, I would say the figure is about an 8. At 7 or an 8. It's worth picking up, 
But I will say be very careful when you guys open the package up and you get the figure on display. Like I said, I've, I've watched a couple of reviews of these guys, of, of this figure, and even in the review they've said, like, I'm trying to remember who reviewed this guy, and he said he actually had two of these. And the third one, the one that he was reviewing was his third figure around because the other two figures had his, I think his arm broke off, his leg came right off. So be very careful though when when getting this guy. But if you can get him out and he is intact like mine seems to be, I would say he's he's definitely he's definitely about an eight. A really nice addition, and it's nice that they went above and beyond and gave us a different character and something that you know not many of us would have expected. Definitely not one that we would have expected. But there we have a toy spot. Uh, DC Universe Wave 4, that was the Batman Beyond figure, a very nice figure if you can get past the fact that the uh, some of the joints might give you hassles. But a nice figure nonetheless. Stay tuned guys for more toy spots on DC Universe Wave 4 and I'll see you guys then.